Hello, welcome to Unicorn Princess Tarot. So, ito po ang ating pick a card reading. So, ang, ati pong, ang atin pong question ay kung may chance ba kayo ng person mo, okay? Kung may chance ba kayo. So, all you have to do is pick one card. Mamimili po kayo dito sa apat na cards na nakalatag natin ngayon dito. Yung tingin mong makakapagbigay sa iyo ng kaliwanagan dun sa question natin kung may chance ba kayo. Okay, ng person mo. Okay? So, um, this is card number 1, card number 2, card number 3, and card number 4. Mamili ka lang po dito ng isa. Okay? So, for card number 1, um, ang atin pong card number 1, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energize you and brings happiness to those around you. Okay, ito yung ating card number one. Card number two natin. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So, tignan nyo pong mabuti kung tingin nyo makakapagbigay ng kaliwanagan sa inyo itong card na ito. Number three. Card number three. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives including your own. So, ito yung card number 3. And card number 4, True Love. This is once in a lifetime. Okay? So, mamili ka lang po dyan. Kukunin ko lang lahat ng cards para mapapag um, differentiate mo kung ano yung pagkakaiba nila. And tignan mo mabuti kung ano yung tingin mong um makakabigay sa iyo ng clarity na kailangan mo. So ito yung cards. Okay? Tapos pumunta ka lang sa description box, click mo yung time frame ng napili mong card para mas mabilis kang makapunta dun sa reading mo. Okay, salamat. Okay? So for those who pick card number one, um, we have your simple acts acts of kindness, okay? Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Okay. So, ito yung person mo. By the way, guys, ha, magsasorry na ako ngayon pa lang kung may mga maririnig kayong mga sounds, like baby, ganyan. Sounds ng baby ko kasi medyo maingay ngayon sa aking background. So, um, pagpasensyahan nyo na po. Pero, i-resume natin yung reading, ha. We have your seven of cups. This is the main energy of your person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. And, you know, uh, with the Seven of Cups, there's some sort of hope dito. So, itong person na ito na you are dealing with, also, this person is the main male. Ibig sabihin, um, kumbaga, kasi na dumap, ano dito eh, ang main male is someone na talaga mapapagkatiwalaan mo. There's a lot of honesty, at saka napakalagay na lagay ang loob dito sa taong to. Like, kung meron kang tatakbuhan, kung meron kang lalapitan, this is the right person na makakaintindi or makakaunawa sa'yo. Kung baga may sense of uh, you understand this person and ganun rin naman siya sa'yo. So, nagkakaroon ng pagkakaintindihan dito. Yung iba sa inyo, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Alam mo, for some of you who are asking, ang nakukuha natin dito is that per this person, nahulog na yung loob niya sa'yo. Okay? So, if you are asking, um, mamaya natin sasagutin, ha? Pero yung emotions nitong person ito, nandun. Okay, nandun. Looking after the you, this person. Itong person nito is now looking after you. So, maaaring may mga bagay lang siyang hinihintay dito. Let's see. Kasi, you are this person's wish. Yun yung nakikita natin eh. Parang isa ka sa pinapangarap nitong person na ito. Pero, sa ngayon, more on a dreamy stage siya. Okay? So, maaaring walang action. Pero, andito yung kinakount niya na yung mga blessings sa buhay niya. And, isa ka dun sa isang wini-wish nitong person na ito. So, we have here very soon, unrequited love. This could be the one. Okay. Napakaganda ng mga lumabas na card. We have here very soon, Malapit na. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So, may mga decision na pwedeng gawin dito. Pwedeng sa side mo, pwedeng sa side ng person mo. Pero, there's a decision na kailangan ng gawain 
or pinag-iisipan na, especially with the unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Pwedeng may currently relationship dito na patuloy, na nag, uh, ano, nagtutuloy-tuloy na relationship, pero hindi na nag-grow. Kumbaga, lanta na yung relationship na ito. So, um, I feel like, There's a decision regarding this relationship na kailangan tapusin or kailangan gawa ng uh, paraan na mawala na or matapos na kasi hindi na nag-grow eh. Unrequited love is a relationship na hindi na nag-grow. Wala ng emotions, wala ng pagmamahal at all. And might be once na magkaroon ng pagdedesisyon dito, this could be the one. Okay? So maaring ang tingin sa iyo ng person mo, ikaw talaga, ikaw talaga dapat Ha? Okay? So, uh, well, yun yung emotions niya, yun yung tingin niya. Okay? There's a lot of love, passion, and dyan. Pero, alamin natin kung may, sa mga later card, malalaman natin kung may chance ba. Kasi yun ang tanong. Now, you might be dealing with your twin flame. Twin flame is here. Yin and yang energy. Okay? Very balanced duality, coupling, complement each other, union. May sense ako na nakukuha dito that you complete each other. You might be dealing with your twin flame. Pwede rin namang hindi. Kasi yung twin flame, alam naman natin, it's a rare um, kind of connection. Hindi yan basta-basta. Pero mararamdaman mo kahit papano ko, whether twin flame kayo or hindi, na kinukompleto ka nitong taong to at kinukompleto ka rin niya. Okay? Some sort of completeness. But the Grim Reaper is here. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. There's a lot of transformation pagdating dito sa person mo sa ngayon. Possible that there's a separation between the two of you or soon a separation will happen. Hindi sa'yo but to this energy right here which is very soon so maaaring may mag-e-end na relationship and there's a lot of option welcoming love actually welcoming love so yung option pag nakapili na love is coming and once na dumating na itong love na to very well open ito with the heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect So, napakaganda ng mga lumbas na card. Kasi meron lang nagiging problem sa inyong dalawa, which is the other person. Alamin natin ha, possible that the other person involved in the situation, yung isa, yung other person, is we have here bottom of the deck, mature man. So, sino ba itong mature man? Maaaring someone who is um, older or mature mag-isip whether magkasing age or whatsoever, this person is a mature man. Okay? Ito yung energy niya. Okay? Pwedeng sa edad niya mismo, siya yung may mas edad sa inyong dalawa or sa person mo. But, you know, this mature man is the one na maaaring laging nandyan nakabantay kung bakit hindi mo makuha yung person mo which is the main female. O, ba? Diba? Ito talaga yung nagiging problem eh. Mature man right here. We have here main female and main male, main male. So, ikaw itong main female dito, this is your energy, this is your person's main energy, the main female. I main male. So, yun yung person mo and then this is your energy, main female. And isa pa sa nagiging problem, we have here... Okay, sorry, naputol. So, isa pa sa nagiging problem, we have here distant horizon. So... Yan, um, pagkakalayo yan, distance yan. Pero although may distance, may nakukuha tayo ditong parang um, energy na parang kailangan itong mangyari, itong, itong distance na ito between the two of you para magkaroon ng realization, pag-iisip, reassessment, lahat ng yan. Kasi hindi mo maaalaman or ma, ma mauunawaan or maiintindihan maigi itong connection ninyo. Hindi mo ma magigising itong connection na ito sa inyong dalawa kung walang pagkakalayo. Okay? So, maaaring ito yung naging way, itong pagkakalayo ninyo, dun yung marirealize how much you are important to this person and kung gano'n ka rin ka-importante sa kanya. So, ayun, kumbaga malaki ang naitulong nito. Hindi, mahirap, syempre, kasi uh, for some of you, 
matagal na or malayo talaga yung distance, very impossible, pero ito yung naging way para mas makilala ninyo yung connection ninyong dalawa. Which is for some of you, pwede ngang twin flame connection ito. But, you know, napakaganda rin kasi nung sumunod na card, we have your thief. So, maaaring someone is coming. Okay? Which is Or, this is the energy, yung parang ninakaw. Ninakaw, nakuha, ganyan. Alin? Alin yung nakuha? So, possible na, you know, your person, or some, or you, pwede yung person mo, or ikaw itong nakuha dito, nitong mature man dito, to be uh, in relationship. Kaya lang, kahit nagkaroon ng relationship dito hindi naging hindi naging okay eh hindi naging okay so possible na eto na nga there's unrequited love and um, maaaring dun sa iba guys yung thief is your energy which is maaaring pagkuha dito sa person ito, kung you are dealing with someone who is already committed pwedeng yun ha pwedeng siya yung committed or kung ikaw yung committed this person is going to get you kukunin, kukunin ka or may some sort of pagnanakaw dito, ha? Huh? Pagkukuha na mangyayari, okay? All you have to do is pray hard okay? We have a religious factor your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, I'm seeing a clear path dito magpray ka lang All you have to do is pray, pray hard, ask for help dito sa inyong angel guides. Kasi yung mga angel guides natin, ang hell de la guardia, spirit guides natin, sila yung tutulong sa atin para makapunta ka dito sa tamang tao na ito. Okay? And I feel like this is the one for you. Kaya lang, there's healthy choices na possible mangyari dito. Okay? Some sort of a travel is going to happen kasi pwedeng may pagkakalayo nga, especially with the world. But, uh, you know, we have here the moon. We have here the moon. So, possible that you are appearing on this person's dream. Especially kung twin flame connection ito. Malalaman mo kung this is a twin flame connection, mararamdaman mo yon. Lumalabas ka sa panaginip nitong person na ito. That's why may pag-iisip dito na uh, dapat siya talaga dapat. Uh, dapat pala talagang siya. Okay? And there's some sort of an ending. Ayan na naman, ending na naman. So, uh, mangyayari itong ending na ito. Ma wala pa yung sagot ha, kung may chance. Wala pa yung sagot. Antabayanan natin yung sagot. Kasi, we have your Scorpio energy with an ending. Okay. So, we have here Ace of Wands. Aris, Leo, Sag energy. And we have here Um, page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ang nakukuha natin dito, okay, with the Ace of Wands, followed by the Seven of Cups, in reverse, and the Strength card in reverse, um, there's some sort of a new beginning here, na possible na um, nakapagpadelay. Okay, this is some sort of a delay. There's a new beginning. Maaaring may pagsisimula na nag-cause kung bakit nagkaroon ng pagkakaroon ng delay dito. Seven of Cups is also here. Okay, yun na yung main energy ng person mo. But your person right here is not being um, his or herself. Hindi siya nagiging totoo sa sarili niya. Hindi siya nagiging mas open. Hindi siya, sabihin na natin may mga competition dito. Okay, na nangyayari. And uh, with the Seven of Cups, Um, in reverse, uh, there's some sort of uh, disappointment kasi nagkaroon ng mga fake expectation. Okay? Possible ito with the past person na kaya siya, not past per person. Why am I saying past person? Oh, possible nga talaga na magkaroon ng ending sa kanila kasi soon to be past na itong magiging person na ito. Okay, whoever this is na may inner relationship, possible na magkaroon ng maging past na siya. Kasi ending is going to happen here. Kailangan lang ng clear thoughts with the King of Swords. Kailangan lang maging mas malinaw pa yung isip kung sino man itong kailangan matapos. Okay? And with the strength in the verse, also maaaring may, may, may mga nagiging torpe dito. May mga, may mga bagay na hindi, hindi maipikay or masabi kasi kulang ng strength or lakas ng loob but we have here page of swords 
Alam mo, this is uh, someone na might be living dito sa mata, ay, uh, sa med- medyo mataas na lugar or sabi na nating probinsya, pwedeng ganun. A lot of scenery or someone who is, uh, you know, yung trabaho niya is pwedeng nasa plane, okay, airport, ganyan, tourism, pwedeng ganyan. Page of Swords is a very young energy. Pero this one is willing to fight for you or this connection. Okay? For some of you ha, never mind the job or yung sinabi ko kanina. Kasi pwedeng yun eh. And we have here the Emperor Aries energy. You could be dealing with someone who is a single mother or single father kind of energy. Or kung hindi man, may mga anak kanyan. And there's a lot of responsibilities. And uh, with the emperor, uh, nakukuha ko yung energy niya na like uh, maraming inisip or maraming responsibilities, you know, like kung ano yung mangyari ngayon, yun na muna yung kinoconcentrate ng person mo, okay? But uh, we have here the star in reverse, although nandun siya sa point or sa, sa, sa punto ng buhay niya na basta na lang kung ano mangyari, sige, uh, ibigay niyo sa akin, uh, harapin natin yan. We have here the star in reverse, this is kind of... Of, um, parang full wish okay, wish na hindi na tutupad, kumbaga ikaw nga yung wish nitong person na ito eh. ikaw talaga ang gusto niya, gusto niyang ipaglaban ka, pero sa ngayon yung wish niya wala, which is wish, wish uh, which is you okay, might be dealing with an Aquarius energy, okay and maaaring concentrated siya dun sa mga sa mga, ano niya sa mga hope niya, yung mga desire niya, lahat ng yan and maaring yung choice dito. So, sa ngayon, wala pang pagpili na nagaganap. Okay, wala pang nangyayaring pagpili. But, we have here Ten of Pentacles and King of Wands. Some sort of an ending here with the King of Pentacles. Ay, Ten, pe- ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ano bang meron sa Ten of Pentacles? Um, it is being carefree energy. Like, a lot of harmony, love, happiness pero ngayon kasi walang walang problema kumbaga wal sa ngayon pagdating sa relationship nagkakaroon ng parang pagtatamlay pagdating sa emotions pero sa problema wala akong nakikitang problema dito parang napaka carefree ng energy so maaring hindi nag-e-end ito because there's a lot of money involved in the situation and okay naman pagdating sa finances okay so we have here king of wands Aris Leo Sag energy so nakikita natin dito ayan oh napaka carefree talaga ng energy niya like um, napakagaan okay you might be dealing with someone who is good at business sales okay mga sales sales person okay or um someone who is helpful kind of a per- person mahilig uh, tumulong very creative at saka yung magaling yung kamay niya eh Okay, yun yung nakikita natin dito. And maaaring ito yung reason why kung bakit hindi 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 makaalis or hindi nagkakaroon ng problem kasi ang galing niya. Kumbaga, isa ito sa sa binigay sa kanya ng Dios na pagsubok pero ang galing niya pa rin kahit dito sa sa pers- sa sitwasyon na ito. Maybe it has something to do with money. Okay, so napakagaling nitong person mo. And we have here Page of Cups in reverse and Six of Swords in reverse. Both are in reversal. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ge- Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. With the Page of Cups in reverse, alam mo, eto na ha, eto na yung relationship problem. Bakit? Because someone here is being oversensitive. Okay. And, nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding because of this. And now, with the Six of Swords in reverse, eto na yung sinasabing um, new beginning. Kaya lang, uh, may mga pinangangambahan, may mga worries, ganyan, may mga kinakatakutan. But this is a farewell. Alam mo yung farewell? You know, farewell. Kumbaga, paalis na, ma, uh, but, you know, although magkakaroon ng katapusan ng ending, it will be a happy ending. Why? Ito na yung sagot sa tanong natin, kung may chance ba kayong dalawa. We have here seven of wands. 
Seven of Wands, Victory. Ito yung ibig sabihin niyan. Seven of Wands is victory. Oo, may chance kayong dalawa. Magtiwala ka lang. Okay? Huwag ka lang masyadong defensive. Huwag ka lang masyadong, huwag mo lang, hayaan mo lang itong sitwasyon. Kumbaga, huwag mong haya, ay huwag mong hadlangan. Kasi meron dito mga nag, nagpipigil or sabihin na natin, nagiging defensive pag tinatanong or may, maybe may part ka rin dito na you're not being honest. But, you know, there's a lot of victory. Huwag ka lang mag, um, mag give up. Okay? Especially yung person mo is not giving up. With the seven of cups. This is your person not giving up. Number seven is someone who is not giving up. Hindi siya nag... Hindi siya nag... Um, ang tawag dito? Nagigive up dito sa situation ninyo. And ganun ka rin dapat. Huwag ka rin mag-give up dito sa situation ninyo. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope nakaresonate kayo. Please do like and subscribe to our channel, Unicorn Princess Tero, Madam PTV, kung gusto mo ng funny and comedy style kind of reading. And if you're dealing with the Virgo, Virgo Philippines, check nyo lang yung description box. I, I, tatag ko lang dyan yung other channel namin, ha? I love you all, guys. And... Bye-bye. Okay, para naman po sa nakapick ng card number 2, which is love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So, ayan yung card na napili mo. Yung main energy na lubabas sa person mo is the lover's Gemini energy. There's a lot of love, passion pagdating sa taong to. Okay? Um, you know, no doubt, pagdating sa emotions niya, mahal ka niya, gusto ka niya, wala siyang ibang gusto kundi ikaw, okay? Um, this person feel, feels like you match, nagmamatch kayo, okay? And you belong, okay, you belong together. Yun yung energy na nakukuha ko sa kanya. And there's a lot of expectation. Gusto niya ng completeness, eh. Gusto niya ng, um, ng completeness, but I feel like this person is waiting, naghihintay, because might be ikaw itong lumalayo with the high honor. Okay? Why? Um, may, 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 may konting problems tayo dito eh. So, maaring you feel like ikaw itong nakukuha ko na medyo may paglayo, pag, uh, pag-iwas, or sabihin na natin, um, take what resonates ha. Kasi pwedeng siya din ito na lumalayo o. Oh. Diba? Alam mo naman sa sarili mo kung ikaw yung may paglayo ditong ginagawa. Pero kukunin natin itong high honor as your energy kasi nakukuha natin na this is your energy na may pag-iwas. Pero you're not giving up. Kahit papano, you're still expecting or still gusto mo pa rin ng kaligayahan, kasayahan. Pero for some of you, pwedeng may marriage involved in the situation. Kaya nagkakaroon ng concern dito or yun yung pinaka nagiging main problem, or someone sa iyong, um, sabihin na nating friends, relatives, or uh, someone dito sa iyong energy na ito yung uh, hindi nakakat, kumbaga siya yung may ayaw, possible a family member, or some of your friends telling you hindi pwede, ganto ganyan. So, a lot of concern here. This person is really, very, really, really concerned. Especially, pwedeng your dad, pwedeng your tito, someone who is mature, mature man, tito, uh, very close to you, yung energy nitong person na ito. Pero, um, yeah, a lot of growth here sa totoo lang. A lot of growth. So, may pag-iwas or may paglayo na nangyayari dito. Okay, pero... We have here attraction. Express your love. This could be the one playfulness. So, you feel like um, maybe this is also the reason why. Feeling mo napapaglaruan ka lang. And, but there's a lot of attraction pagdating dito sa person na ito. For some of you, pwedeng nag-meet kayo and then sex agad. For some of you, pwedeng may ganong senaryo ha. Kaya you feel like may paglalaro. Pwedeng you feel like uh, sex lang naman ang habol niya, ganun. Pero para dun sa iba, hindi naman yon But someone here needs to express his or her emotion kasi maaaring wala rin, kulang rin sa pagdating sa, pagdating sa expression of feelings. 
okay? Maaring yung nararamdaman ng person mo, yung nararamdaman niya, ganyan. Pero kulang sa mga words, okay? Either sa side mo or sa side ng person na ito. But this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Maaring ito na yung tao na hinahanap mo, pero naging mapaglaro ang tadhana sa inyong dalawa. Okay? So, we have here engagement ring, healing heart coffee cup. There's a partnership here. Okay, possible uh, deeper level of commitment. Okay, and the healing heart is here. Um, you might be heartbroken right now. Alam mo, hindi lang ikaw, pati siya, yung energy nyo. A lot of bitterness na nangyayari dito. And, you know, you're just this person na maaring... Gusto mong sabihin sa'yo in person eh. Okay, so, so kung may expression of love dito, parang gusto mo sa personal, patunayan, ganun. Hindi yung sa, sa, sa maaring sa text lang, ganyan, hindi ganun. Gusto mo personal, you might be that kind of person. And gusto mo talaga makita. Pero, you know what? Medyo magiging matagal ha. Okay? Especially uh, for some of you, someone here needs to take a break or a vacation with the paradise. Kung gusto mo talaga itong person ito, kasi possible ang reconciliation or pagkikita pagsasama, ganyan eh. Possible yan. Ibig sabihin, pwede magkaroon ng pagkikita sa inyong dalawa, and then pwede magkaroon ng mga clarification. But you know, someone here needs to take a risk. Kasi nga, with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, kung ano talaga yung gusto niya, Okay, this person, medyo nahihirapan siya kasi Queen of Pentacles is here. Possible marriage uh, or pwede may baby involved in the situation. Pwede may marriage. I'm seeing a marriage uh, contract. And uh, yun nga, someone here needs to take a risk. Take what resonates kasi pwede ikaw yung married or yung person mo or someone in a deeper level of commitment na umabot na sa point ng engagement. Pwedeng ganun ha. So, medyo mahirap. And, we have here Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, the Hermit, Virgo, Energy, and the Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. It is in reverse. So, totoo lang, um, you might be thinking na, ayan, nage-expect sa'yo ang person mo, pero may nakukuha rin ako sa energy nyo na no longer waiting. Okay? Pwedeng ikaw yon, pwedeng yung person mo. May naaamoy akong isda. I'm sorry. Wala lang yun ha. Kasi medyo pag ganito na nagre-reading ako, medyo mabilis ako ma-distract. You might be beside an aquarium while listening to me or pwedeng, pwedeng, pwedeng nandyan ka sa ano ngayon. Naglilinis ng isda or whatsoever. O may isda. And, okay, continue. With the two of swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, some sort of a decision dito na hindi matapos-tapos. Possible kasi na there's a family involved in the situation with the ten of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. So, may mga usapang pamilya ni dito. Okay? Usapang pamilya na dito na hindi matapos-tapos. Kung ano man yung problem na iyon, parang tuloy-tuloy lang. And feeling, feeling na, feeling na, na nagkakaroon na ng pagneneglect or kung ano man yung problema hindi hinaharap okay bakit kasi maaaring um, may mga emotions dito na parang or um, dreams or hope or wishes na parang nag-shattered na or natapos na or sabihin na nating natanggap na yung katotohanan so hindi na parang nagdi-decision pa okay possible a marriage here nagtuloy-tuloy na wala na and kung ano man yung mga hinihiling ginong gusto kasi I feel like your person is like uh, there's a lot of love here mahal na mahal person na ito eh kaya lang hindi siya makaalis sa situation and with the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy, energy gemini libra aquarius energy with the six of swords um there's a lot of fears takot and this per person is saying goodbye 
okay? Saan siya nagsasabi ng goodbye? Might be with the Knight of Cups, which is infatuation. So, pwedeng may pagkagusto sa'yo itong person ito, pero your person is saying goodbye sa pagmamahal. Pagmamahalan yung dalawa. Okay? I'm sorry to say that. Masakit yon, Especially kung natutunan mo na siyang tanggapin, mahalin kung sa... sa kung sino siya o ano siya. But, you know, there's a lot of, ano rin dito eh, lack of communication between the two of you. Kulang din sa pag-open up. This could be you na may, nahihirapan mag-open up dito sa person na ito. And ganun din naman siya sa'yo. And we have here Eight of Swords and the Death right here. Scorpio Energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius Energy. So, maaaring yung person mo din ito with the temperance na no longer waiting kasi with the eight of swords maaring uh, komplikado na ang lahat okay maaring andito na sa hindi na makaalis sa sitwasyon like uh, there's some sort of an ending here pero maaring yung pag end has something to do with waiting okay nag end na siya sa paghihintay tapos na yung paghihintay niya dyan okay so ang ang answer natin dun sa question natin na kung may chance pa ba kayo, we have your Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ito yung pinaka-answer natin. It is a missed opportunity. Okay? Uh, for some of you, financial problem, naging, mag, naging nagkaroon, maaari nagkaroon ng relationship pagsasama sa inyong dalawa, pero it's a missed opportunity. Ibig sabihin, opportunity na na na, na miss or hindi napansin. Ayan na pala, dumating na pala yung opportunity sa inyong dalawa. Pero, hindi na isa katuparan. Okay? So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope naka-resonate kayo. Please do like and subscribe to our, uh, <laughs> to our channel, Unicorn Princess Tero. At saka may dalawa pa kaming channel, ha. If you are a Virgo, feel free to check out Virgo Philippines. At saka Madam PTV. Kung gusto mo ng funny and comedy style kind of reading, check it out. Lahat po ng details andyan sa description box. I mean, itatag ko lang yung mga channels na yon, So, feel free to click na lang yung mismong channel para makita mo yung other channels namin. So, I love you all guys and bye-bye. Okay, para naman po sa nakapick ng card number 3. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives including your own. So, ito yung napick mong card. So, ang main energy ng person mo na lumabas is the nine of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay? So, ang nakukuha natin dito, there's a lot of dreams, a lot of enjoyment. So, maaaring yung person is like uh, focusing dito sa sarili niya, sa nangyayari sa kanya ngayon. There's a lot of happiness, lot, a lot of dreams. Okay? So, concentrated siya muna ngayon sa sarili niya. So, pero marami pa rin siyang gustong mangyari. Which is, yun nga, pwede may kinalaman sa uh, some sort of... Uh, I don't know, may nakukuha ko ditong freedom or sabihin na natin new beginning. And we have here the coffin. So, maaaring something ended here. May natapos. Okay? And for some of you, pwede yung may kinalaman din ito sa great fortune thoughts and false person. For some of you, pwede may, may nagkaroon ng separation between the two of you. Or some sort of separation paghihiwalay. Okay? Pwede rin may kinalaman ito sa family issues, family involved with the house. But, um, maaring minsan ka nang niloko nitong person ito with a false person. Okay? Pwede may mga ginawa siya sa'yo na hindi mo na nagustuhan. Especially, uh, for some of you with the great fortune, so maaring money issues ito. Ito hindi naging maganda yung yung mga nangyari because of this pwedeng money, pwede rin namang thoughts which is someone here pwedeng nag-overthinking pwedeng feeling mo na loko ka ganun, take what resonates kasi maaaring uh, nagkaroon ng ending because of that yung parang sobra-sobrang pag-iisip and we also have here children, bottom of the deck 
So, pwedeng may usap regarding children or uh, this situation involves children. Nakaka-apekto yung children na yon. And we have your retreat. So, maaaring nagkaroon nga ng ending dito. Marriage na naging hindi maganda or possible na disconnection pagdating sa sitwasyon ninyong dalawa. Okay. So, alamin natin. Um, we have your separation, bottom of the deck, oh. So, yung once or yung minsan naging masaya para sa inyong dalawa, nagkaroon ng hindi magandang resulta, which is a lot of sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Okay. So, maaaring talagang currently hindi hindi okay yung, yung pagdating sa connection ninyong dalawa, communication, ganyan. Possible na walang communication at all. Kung meron man, siguro may pag-uusap na lang regarding children. So, you could be dealing with your ex-wife or ex-husband here dito sa situation na inyo. Kaya lang, um, naging main problem talaga is the money. We have your finances and career. Career, I'm sorry. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now religious factor so pwedeng isa pa ito ha for some of you you might be married to this person pero isa rin na um, na nakukuha nating energy dito is that this person is actually praying praying uh, and uh, maaring looking forward asking for hopes ganyan na kahit pa paano sana magkaroon man lang ng pagkikita sa inyong dalawa this reconciliation right here pagbabalik Okay? Um, kaya lang, sa totoo lang, yung pagbabalik ka something to do with the finances kasi. So, maaaring may mga unfinished business pa kayo pagdating sa inyong pera. So, maaaring may usap doon. And we have here the golden mirror, healing heart ascending, self-absorbed narcissism, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yung iba sa inyo, focus sa sarili eh. Okay? Ikaw or whether your person or you, pareho kayo sa totoo lang. And with the healing heart, so a lot of healing right here sa natapos na relationship connection. And now there's a lot of ascending, kumbaga ang daming natutunan. And uh, you know, once na kumpleto or okay na yung lahat, saka tayo magkakaroon dito ng union or pagkikita. Preparing yourself sa union na ito. Kasi mahirap naman magkaroon ng union or pagkikita or pagsasama kung hindi pa okay ang lahat. So, might be, dumadaan kayo sa inaayos mo yung sarili mo, inaayos niya rin yung sarili niya. Okay? And we have here, Nine of Pentacles. This is your energy, very welcoming dito. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Maaaring, we have a lot of reassessment or so marami ng pag-iisip na nangyari sa side mo na maaaring now this time, for some of you, pwedeng nakarecover ka na and you're now welcoming this person, okay? And, um, with the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, I'm really seeing here a marriage or a, re a relationship na nag-end because the lovers is here. Gemini energy. Pero, um, nasa likod siya ng Ten of Pentacles, which is an ending number, number 10. So, maaaring may nag-end sa inyong dalawa. Parang, wala nang pakialam pagdating dito sa relationship na ito, sa connection na ito. Kasi, possible din naman na one of you, or pwedeng both of you are really, uh, ano na, kumbaga, wala nang pakialam because of this happy love na nakikita natin dito, which is another relationship. So, possible na may another relationship involved na in the situation. Okay? So, pwedeng meron na new person dito. So, kung this is a past person, pwedeng meron ng bago. And with the eight of wands in reverse, Aris, Leo, Sag, Energy. Uh, ito yung hindi na natin nasisigurado ito. Because of miscommunication, frustration, lahat ng yan. So, nagkakaroon na ng parang hindi na maganda yung communication tsaka yung frustration sa inyong dalawa and we have here three of pentacles Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy this is a completion ha completion itong energy na ito so maaaring kung meron man nag end sa inyo completed na yun, okay na yun na, 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 na anuhan nyo na yun na, na, na isa ka to para okay na kumbaga tapos na and with the six of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy um Meron pa rin mga time na binabalik-balikan but it is because of the children involved. Nakikita ko yung mga bata dito. Can you see the cards? So this is like a more or ano, parang more on 
children kind of energy. So, napaka-childish, okay? So, you might be dealing with someone who is childish or pwedeng may usap talaga kayo regarding the kids. And we have here eight of pentacles in reverse. So, um... I feel like your person is trying to ignore you or yung connection, yung communication or ikaw ito na ini-ignore na ito ha. And uh, we have here nine of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. A lot of achievements here yung nakikita natin. Ang daming dreams, happiness na nakikita natin dito. But I feel like it has something to do with the world. So for some of you, pwedeng may distance. Uh, you might be living abroad or so, somewhere na malayo. And I feel like you're already happy kung nasaan ka ngayon. Pero may pagmamasid pa rin na nakikita natin dito. Might be from your person or another person involved in the situation. So kung wala ka pang kakonek, kung hindi pa ito. I mean, kung wala ka pang kakonek, kung hindi. I mean, how would I say this? Uh, another person eh. So, this is someone new with the world. Someone is watching you. Kung wala ka pang karelasyon ngayon. Okay? Someone is watching you. Not this person. Hindi itong person na ito. Someone new. Okay? Pero kung meron ka na, kasi possible na dumating na ito eh. Itong the world na ito. Very new ang energy niya. Maaring dumating na. But, we have here four of cups, cancer, scorpio, pisces energy. Meron lang energy na parang very hes hesitant. So, hindi ka sigurado kung there's an offer right here coming from this person. Kaya lang hindi, hindi tayo sigurado. Kasi might be yung mga previous previous uh, relationship mo with this person na hindi naging maganda. Nag-end lang sa hindi maganda. And ngayon, nagkakaroon ka na hindi ka sigurado kung i-accept mo ba yung offer. But you know, it's now the, ta it's now the right time to plan for the future. Sure, okay. And we have here five of five of ones, Aries, Leo, such energy. And daming changes na mangyayari dito, oh. A lot of fighting or gulo na possible mangyare. Pero alam mo, for some of you, tapos na ito, eh. Why? The three of swords is here and the high priest. Maybe it has something to do with the third party relationship or kung hindi man, a lot of pain dito. Pero napakakalmado na with the high priest. So, maaring yung iba nangyari na nga. Doon naman sa iba, uh, possible an ending uh, dyan. Kasi nakukuha ko yung calmness mo eh. Kung baga okay ka na. Kung nagkaroon man or pwedeng aware ka na dun sa relationship niya with the other person. Pwedeng new person involved in the situation. Eh okay ka na. Kung baga na, nandito yung point na tinanggap mo na. Okay? So wala na rin naman ako nahi, nakikita dito na naghihintay ka pa dito sa person na ito eh. Especially for some of you person and accepted talaga para sa, for some of you pwedeng money issues na lang I mean more on this money na lang yung tinitignan mo so pwedeng may money kumbaga a lot of abundance ang nakikita natin dito Okay, so a lot of blessings ang dumadating sa iyo and with the seven of wands, ito yung sagot kung may may, may chance pa ba kayong dalawa Okay Kung may, kung may chance pa ba kayong dalawa? And the answer is no. Okay? Although lumabas ito dun sa ibang reading kanina, seven of ones din yung naging answer, ang nakukuha natin dito is no. Why? Kahit no ang sagot, may victory tayong nakikita dito. Not, not from this person, but the world, the new person. Wala kang chance sa kanya, pero yung chance mo, hindi man, uh, kumbaga, hindi, wala man chance itong sitwasyon ninyo dalawa, pero victory or panalo ka pa rin. Seven of Wands is someone being a winner. Victory ito eh. Kaya lang, no ang sagot, dahil hindi ko nakikita na magiging masaya, magiging maligaya ka sa sitwasyon or sa connection ninyo dalawa. Rather, nakikita ko yung victory victorious energy, yung hope, yung yung maganda, yung completion, yung victory, kasayahan, kal kaligayahan, not with this person, possible pa sa person na ito with the world, or on your own. Okay, take what resonate, kasi pwedeng meron ngang person dito oh, with the world. Okay, so kumbaga, hindi man magkaroon ng chance sa inyong dalawa, panalo ka pa rin. Okay? So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope naka-resonate kayo. Please do like and subscribe to our channel, Unicorn Princess Tarot, Virgo, Philippines. Lahat yan ilalagay ko dun sa description box, ha? So, i-click mo na lang po if you want to visit our other channels. May mga reading din po tayo dyan. 
sa iba't ibang sign dun sa Madam PTV. Kaya lang comedy and funny style kind of reading yon Sa Virgo, Philippines naman, um, para sa mga Virgo yon So, if you're dealing with a Virgo or you are a Virgo, feel free to check it out. So, maraming salamat po. Bye-bye. Okay, so para naman po sa nakapick ng card number 4, we have your true love. This love is once in a lifetime. So, napakaganda ng card na napick mo. Okay? Pero alamin natin, kasi hindi naman tayo dun sa card magbe-base, kundi sa mga lumabas na cards dito. Okay? So, alamin natin. Um, ang, ang question natin is kung may chance ka pa. May chance pa ba kayong dalawa? Okay? ba? So, alamin natin yung person mo, yung main energy niya, we have your three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, as of now, medyo na iba yung direction ng person mo, ha? Medyo may mga pagbabago sa buhay niya with the pathway right here. So, maaaring a lot of changes and a lot of growth ang nakikita natin dito. So, your person is having this growth or pag-grow ng, as a person, ha? So, maaaring, kung ano man yung mga nagbago, etong person na ito currently concentrated siya sa growth niya, sa mga pagpabago sa kanya, sa development niya, and with the three of pentacles, so maaaring meron siyang tinatry na ayusin, like, i-complete sa sarili niya, kasi gusto niya ng good result, eh. Gusto niya ng result ang magiging maganda, okay? Pagdating sa sarili niya yon So, more or less, yung person mo concentrated sa ngayon sa sarili niya. Okay? And uh, we have your judication. Okay. So, for what I can see here, another growth here. Another growth ang nakikita natin dito. Kaya lang some sort of a problem o pwedeng marriage certificate, whatever it is, there's a problem here. Konting problema lang naman ito. But I feel like kung ano man itong problema nito, it is a gift from you by the spirit guides, by the angel guides, hindi lang sa'yo, sa person mo, para makatulong dito sa connection ninyong dalawa. Okay? And you might feel or see this person or maramdaman communication, ganyan. For some of you, pwede wala kayong communication. Kung may communication kay, ka na with this person, meron tayong sinasabi dito unexpected income, which is possible na magkaroon ng communication na may kinalaman sa pakikipagtulungan or pagtutulungan. Okay? So, might be your person would ask help, okay? Or you, you would ask help from this person. So, you know, a lot of uh, changes dyan, maybe it has something to do with mangungutang, hiram na, I don't know, money issues because poverty is here. So, maaaring some of you, especially pwede yung person may ito kasi siya yung nag-grow eh. Siya yung biglang nabago yung landas. So, possible na siya ito yung kumakaharap ngayon sa problema niya ngayon. Pero, itong problema niya na ito, I mean, I don't see this as a problem. Kasi, for me, ito yung isa, isang naging way para magkaroon ng completion sa inyong dalawa. Or, pagkikita, pagsasama, communication, ganyan. Hindi pa rin natin nakikita dito yung, uh, yung answer dun sa question. Kung may chance ba kayong dalawa. Mamaya natin yun sasabihan by the end of the reading, ha? Aalamin lang natin yung mga lumpas na cards muna. Babasahin muna natin ito. And then, yung last card na kukunin ko, yun yung magiging answer talaga dun sa pinakatanong. So, hindi pa yun nasasagot. But, for what I can see here, we have here, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so for what, for what I can see here, maaaring ito na yung person mo. Maaaring ito na yung sinasabi natin na with especially wedding rings is here, oh, wedding rings. So, um, there's um, uh, eternal love na nakikita natin dyan. Love between the two of you, okay? Kaya lang, uh, we, have here, we have here deception. So, maaaring someone here is not being true or someone is wearing for a false self mask in this relationship. Ibig sabihin hindi siya nagiging totoo sa sarili niya or pwedeng ikaw to na may mga may mga nililihim dito pagdating sa emotion mo. Okay, take what resonates kasi meron dito mga pagtatago ng sikreto. But for what I can see here we have here, it is safe for you to love, true love, ayan o, oh, yun napili mong card, true love. And then, lumabas dito sa, lumabas din sa, sa reading yung true love and passion. Alam mo, there are times that your person is having this passion or fantasizing about you, sexually, oo. Pero it is not a bad thing kasi for some of you, ganun din ang nagiging sitwasyon mo sa kanya eh. 
I feel like you're also fantasizing about this person. May mga times talaga na iniisip mo siya or um, ina, kahit pa paano na imagine mo ano kayang pakiramdam ng mahalikan nitong taong to. Kasi there's a lot of uh, imagination na dumalabas sa inyong dalawa. And I feel like it is safe for you to love this person. Kung for some of you, mahal mo na nga eh. Kaya lang ang problem, uh, we have your karma, so might be your person is dealing with his or her karma, or pwede ring ikaw ito, kasi there's a karma right here, okay? So, pero, ayun nga, sinasabi natin yung karma pangit pag tinignan mo, pero sa totoo lang, hindi, kasi ito yung isang test, you know, alam mo naman ang buhay, punong-puno ng test yan, and itong karma na ito, isa ito sa nagiging test sa buhay na kailangan malagpasan, okay? And currently, once na malagpasan mo na yon mag-graduate ka na doon, syempre, ang mangyayari dyan, marami kang matututunan, and ito yung halaga ng karma sa buhay ng tao, okay? Oh, so, pangit, di ba, iniisip ng iba, or pwedeng kayo, ang pangit naman, may karma but kailangan pa, no kasi hindi mo pwedeng pagsamahin halimbawa, sa, sa, sa sitwasyon ninyo <coughs> hindi pwedeng mapupunta agad siya sa'yo without um, having these stages na mararanasan niya para pagdating niya sa'yo, hindi na siya hindi na siya mapupunta pa doon sa mga pagkakamali na nangyari doon sa karma niya <coughs> some sort of a lesson na maaari niyang matutunan, matutunan or natutunan dito sa karma na ito. Okay? But, you know, currently yung person mo is having this struggle pa rin. Currently, with the not enough. Okay? Feeling niya, um, no, lack enough is being someone na kulang sa confidence. Okay? So, uh, a lot of ego issues dito. So, you might be dealing with someone na medyo mataas pa rin ang ego niya. Pero, you know, just stay put ka lang dyan. Kasi, hammer is hero. Tinatry niya palang i-build up yung sarili niya. Ayusin ang sarili niya. We have your wedding rings. Possible that there's a marriage involved in the situation. Or, also, this is your person. Gusto niya talaga ng marriage with you. Gusto niya talaga ng relationship. Gusto talaga niya ng connection. Gusto niya talaga ng everlasting promise between the two of you. Okay? And, tsaka gusto niya ng commitment. Gusto niya yung tipong mahahawakan niya and then hindi kikwestionin ng ibang tao yung regarding sa situation or relationship yung dalawa. Yung talagang tipong masasabi niyang kanya. Yun ang gusto ng person may. Kaya lang, currently, inaayos niya yung sarili niya. And with the sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power, um, some sort of uh, energy here coming from your person na maaaring pinoprotektahan niya lang kasi ayaw niyang masaktan. Kasi possible na your person is like overthinking sinasabi niya, paano to? Paano kung halimbawa magkaroon ng clarity or sabihin na nating relationship between the two of you? Paano yon Kasi baka masaktan lang ako pagdating ng huli. Lalo na pagka nagkaalaman na sa lahat or possible na meron dito uh, hindi, hindi magandang sitwasyon na sabihin na natin pag nalaman ng lahat eh hindi maganda yung kakalabasan. So, yun yung iniisip ng person mo. So, possible a third party situation, relationship, and ayaw naman ng gano'n ng person mo. And especially ngayon, wala naman siyang may pagmamalaki pa sa ngayon kasi nga, trying to build his or her self pa. And um, we have here the runner. Ayan, no? Runner. The runner is here. Okay. So, I feel like um, may reason Okay, may nakita tayo dito. There's a reason kung bakit ginagawa ng person may ito. Kung bakit siya lumalayo, kung bakit hindi siya ganun ka-open. Okay? So, why? Lumabas dito sa bottom of the deck itong karmic relationship. relationship. So, possible one of you has this karmic relationship which is a situation na hindi maalisan basta-basta. Could be a karma could be a karmic relationship or a person or pwede rin namang sitwasyon na hindi maalisan. Okay? Take what resonates. And, ito yung nagiging reason kung bakit yung person mo is like running, yung feeling mo maaaring pagdating sa connection, hindi siya ganun ka-open or hindi ganun ka-communicative. But, we have your six of swords, your person is trying to grow, medyo may, may, may energy tayo dito na parang nag-move on siya ha tinatry niya itong mga pagbabago sa buhay niya and maaaring kung ano man itong something na pagbabago dito 
Ito yung nagkakos ng konting delay. With the six of wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Yes, this is a delay. Okay? And this is a punishment. So, kung ikaw or yung person mo yung dealing with this karmic situation, ito naman yung tipong, um, you know, maaaring punishment ng universe sa person mo because there's an excess pride. So, you might be dealing with someone na medyo mayabang or medyo mahilig sa material things or, you know, some some kind of a person na collector kind of person. Pero, alam mo kung bakit? Kailangan niya kasi maranasan yung mawalan eh. And so, maaaring yun yung energy na pinaparanas sa kanya ng universe. Like, kailangan mo matutunan kung ano ang halaga ng buhay. Kung bakit kailangan may mga mawala sa'yo. And yun nga yung nakikita ng person mo ngayon. Kaya nga nagkakaroon siya ng pagbibuild, rebuilding his or herself. Kasi maaaring may mga nawala sa kanya and you know this is his uh, this is the universe way kung paano ipapakita sa kanya kung ano yung mga halaga ng mga bagay-bagay kasi maaaring hindi niya yun nakita noon. So you might be dealing with someone na medyo materialistic, okay? Or sabi na nating maaaring nagko-collection siya ng mga bagay-bagay. May nakikita ko dito may mga nagko-collect collectors eh. And we have your three of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Alam mo um there's a baby here na maaaring naiipit sa situation ngayon. Or kung hindi man, baby, um, a lot of happiness, okay, a lot of happiness is here. Kaya lang, um, may, may emotion dito na parang hindi pwedeng sabihin eh. Hindi pwedeng sabihin as of now. Okay? Hindi pwedeng sabihin why. I'm seeing a lot of three here. Ay, ang dami ko nakikita number three. Oh, so, might be a third-party relationship, which is the other one is the karma. We have your karmic relationship, eh. Okay? Pero, you know, pwedeng kailangan din mag-undergo pa sa ganon, sa matapos yon. And with the death, Scorpio energy, I feel like... Okay, if there's a marriage involved here in this situation, I see it ending. Okay? Especially with the wedding rings. Ito yung marriage eh. Tapos under nyan is a, is a death card. Is a death card. Which is an ending uh, card. You know? Scorpio energy. So, possible mag-end yan. Possible mag-end yan. And also, the sword and rose is some sort of cutting off something. And, yun nga. So, uh, with the with the three of pentacles, stars, Virgo, Capricorn, the star, uh, currently, sa totoo lang, Oh, three of Pentacles is here. I feel like you're mirroring each other. You're mirroring each other. Uh, could be dealing with a twin flame or soulmate connection. Pero, ang daming delay. Ang daming delay dito. Okay? Um, hindi kasi, sa totoo lang, may teamwork between the two of you eh. Okay? And maganda yung nakikita nating resulta dun sa teamwork na yun. Kaya lang, we have here the star, Aquarius energy. Kailangan lang i-manifest kung ano talaga yung gusto. Kaya lang, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, alam mo, Queen of Swords is a very uh, good card. Very nice ang energy nito. Very confident. Kaya lang, ngayon, it is in reverse. So, maaaring lack of confidence. Okay? Kulang sa lakas ng loob. And, uh, you know, maybe you are dealing with someone na medyo may distansya between the two of you. Or your person could be this person na nagkakaroon ng distance pagdating sa person na ito. Kasi, uh, ayaw niya madulas eh. Okay? There's a lot of love from this person. Kaya lang ayaw niya madulas. So, ayaw niya ring maramdaman mo. Kung ano yung nararamdaman niya. Like, there's a lot of love. Ayaw niya maramdaman mo yon sa ngayon. Yung pagmamahal niya. So, maybe, uh, you're dealing with someone na, <clears throat> sabihin na natin, siya yung tipo ng tao na seryoso siya. Pag nagsalita siya, totoo yon. Kaya lang ang problema, sa saksak, sa kind na tao na being totoo siya. Hindi niya, as much as possible, ayaw niya ma makipag-usap, makipag-communicate kasi baka magkamali eh. Baka masabi niya kung ano yung totoo. Which is, hindi pa siya ready sabihin yun ngayon. Okay? So, this is the Queen of Swords. Okay? There's a lot of truth here. Kaya lang hindi masabi. Ayan no? Under the sword and rose, which is clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. So, maaaring meron pa siyang mga pinoprotectan sa ngayon. Which is yun nga, yung feelings niya, yung emotions niya. So, ayaw niya mag-open up sa'yo kasi pinoprotectan niya yung feelings niya. Hindi siya sigurado kung, um, kung magiging okay ba ang lahat sa inyo. 
Okay? So, currently, may mga kinakatakutan. And we have here the tower. It is because might be there's no ending happening here. So, wala pang ending kasi na nangyayari. Although, alam naman ninyo na kailangan tapusin mo na ito. Kung ano man itong kailangan tapusin, ito maaari yung hinihintay ng person mo. Okay? Waiting for this ending. Actually, begging na nga siya eh. Yung energy niya is like play, praying. Praying for this kind of energy na like, please sana matapos na kung ano man ito dapat tapusin. Kasi, hindi niya masabi or hindi niya maamin, not unless matatapos kung ano man ito. Okay, so may kailangan tapusin pa dito. And with the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, there's a lot of offer coming from your person. Kaya lang hindi siya sigurado dito sa mga offer na to ha, kung i-accept mo ba. Pero this person is actually having this offer, giving you this offer, hindi pa nga lang sa ngayon. Okay, pag nagkaroon ng opportunity, which is yun nga, kung may mag end dito, and would you, this person is willing to give you this uh, invitation, opportunity na... Um, you know, maipakita kung gaano kaka-importante sa person na ito ay gagawin niya yon. Pero sa ngayon, hindi pa nangyayari because uh, may kailangan pa tayong tapusin dito. Okay, and yung question kung may chance ba kayong dalawa, yun yung hinihintay natin kasi yun yung, yun yung hinahanap natin na sagot. The last card here is the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy. So, anong meron dito? It's a success. Great love and a reward ang nakikita natin dito. Very beautiful card. Very welcoming. Alam mo yung person mo is already waiting here for you. Okay? Concentrated lang siya sa sarili niya. But with the nine of pentacles, nandito siya concentrated din sa paghihintay sa'yo. So, your person is waiting. And once na magawa mo yung mga kailangan mong gawin, ay nandyan siya naghihintay. So, there's a success possibility na magkaroon ng relationship and uh, union between the two of you. All you have to do is do the thing na kailangan mong gawin dito. Okay, alam mo yon, alam mo yung sitwasyon mo, kung yung mga kailangan mo tapusin, if this is you na kailangan may tapusin, or uh, yeah. So, that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. I hope naka-resonate kayo. Please do like and subscribe to our channel, Unicorn Princess Tarot, Madam PTV, and Virgo Philippines. If you're dealing with a Virgo or you are a Virgo, check nyo lang yung description box and i-click nyo yung channel. Itatag ko na lang dyan yung mga channels namin, okay? I love you all and bye-bye.